Lawyers representing Julian Assange have begun their final legal challenge against his extradition to the United States. Now, there are concerns over the 52-year-old's health after he did not appear in court today. Ian Woods is outside the High Court in London for us this morning. Ian, good evening to you. Members of Julian Assange's family have been there today. What have they said? Yeah, good morning, Pete. Uh, they and international journalists uh, were crowding the court to get a look at uh, uh, Julian Assange. Everyone thought that he was going to be in court today. Facilities had been made to either bring him to court to attend personally or to join by video link from the prison where he has spent the past five years. But in the end, uh, he didn't appear uh, in either form because we were told uh, he was unwell. Now, his brother and his father, who travelled from Australia earlier this week, were expecting to see him, and they were somewhat surprised when the announcement was made that he wasn't well enough. So Gabriel spoke to me afterwards about concerns about his deteriorating health. Julian's in a very delicate, uh, delicate uh, state of health. Uh, he's had episodes inside that prison, you know, a mini stroke. Uh, he's been ground down by this process. Uh, he has good and bad days, you know, in terms of his, um, in terms of his mental health. Um, but yeah, it is, it is concerning. There are very loud and noisy protests throughout the day here. There have been on numerous occasions when there have been similar court hearings uh, featuring uh, Julian Assange's case. Today was particularly well organised. There was a platform for speeches. There was a streaming of live video for hour after hour so that people around the world could follow what was going on. And the protesters, uh, who will be here again tomorrow, uh, intend to, at the conclusion of proceedings, when the uh, U.S. Uh, representing uh, the, the barristers representing the U.S. government conclude uh, their discussions with the justices tomorrow. All of the protesters plan to walk the two or three kilometres from here to Downing Street to take their protest to the heart of the British government. In, in Australia, in Sydney, they're um, outside the uh, British consulate. Uh, in uh, Melbourne, they are sleeping overnight or having an overnighter outside the consulate there at 90 Collins Street. That phenomenon is worldwide. And it, it, seems to mean that uh, the people are determined to see a bit of justice in front of them. Now, everyone wants to know when we're going to get a decision from the two justices who are hearing this. Uh, the normal pattern would be that they would reserve judgment for a few days to consider uh, exactly what they are going to decide and give the reasons for it. It could come within 24 hours, uh, but if it fails, then his legal routes here in the UK are over, and it could be a matter of days before US Marshals arrive to bring him back to the United States. Wow, what an interesting week ahead. Ian Woods, thank you.